Northwest artists are passionate about art, and Golden Road Arts extends their passion through education. In association with working artists, we're on an arts mission, supporting students, parents, and teachers with online live and recorded examples introducing children to art. Well, the joy is that wood comes in so many different forms, so many different kinds, and you can do so much with it. The pitfalls are that you have to deal with the grain, which sometimes creates a problem in what you're trying to do while you're working. Also, I do like the wood that's somewhat deteriorated so that it gives me a chance to maybe hollow out the pieces or do something that is already there that I can work with. So the other kind of work that I like to do is I pre-plan everything and it's all a construction project. So I know exactly what I'm going to end up with before I even start. So it's a little bit different way of working. But I do prefer the abstract pieces where I can just play with the piece of wood. Usually when I see it, I have an idea of whether I want to play with it or not. I don't, since I do that kind of work, I don't usually know what I'm going to do until I get into it. And then the wood kind of lets you know what it wants and how you can create it to make it look really nice and work for whatever you're doing. Well, hopefully I'm creating something that is actually enjoyable to look at and in my case I like people to touch and feel because wood has a has a nice feeling and it needs to be touched and so there's a lot more to it than just creating a piece and having it sit there. I had a little tiff with the painting instructor in my third year of school and he wanted to change what I was doing and what I was painting at that time and I really had been doing it for about a dozen years and I didn't want to change. I'd kind of gone through what he thought I needed to go through. So I had a sculpture class at the time and just got really interested in the three-dimensional work. And so from there, I just kept doing that. I still paint, but I still like going back and doing the three-dimensional work. It's just more satisfying. Actually, it worked out really well because I ended up working in wood or with wood and being a Finnish carpenter for 35 years. So I did a lot of design and work and made stuff that nobody else was doing. I created and built a lot of staircases, curved and straight. I use a lot of really sharp and dangerous tools and even I that use them all the time tend to get hurt now and then so that is kind of a problem but there is on a smaller scale that we can at least introduce people to woodworking and and then they can go on their own and eventually go further than just using a knife or a, a couple of small tools. My inspiration for this kind of work came on a trip to Ireland where I saw another artist over there that was creating these small vessels. Now, when I got back, since I couldn't do the piece of the face piece in one piece because my saw wasn't big enough, then I got into laminating pieces together to make the face of it, which made it way more interesting because I could use different kinds of wood to do different things. This particular piece has fur, dug fur on it, but this piece of wood I had loved the grain and I'd probably saved it for at least 20 years before I ever found a use for it, but now it looks really great on this vessel.